Hey everyone, hi. Today we are going to discuss about head pins and eye pins. Now this was a highly requested video because most of you who are new to jewelry designing are very confused about what is the meaning of a head pin and what is an eye pin. So today to clear all the doubts and to help you with some of the ideas about what is a head pin and a eye pin, I am here to show you what an eye pin looks like and what a head pin looks like. This is a head pin guys. If you see, I'm sorry, this is an eye pin. If you look closely, there is an eye to the end of the pin. And if I take the same color of silver head pin, you see that this is the end. I mean, it has an end to the pin. So this looks exactly like a normal pin, but this has an eye. So this is a head pin. And this is an eye pin. I'm going to show that to you in a golden tone. Um, here I have. This is an eye pin. And this is an head pin. It has a really small head to the pin. So. Now first let's discuss about head pins. Now these are widely used in jewelry designing. Because these are used as connectors. I'm going to demonstrate one of the pieces to you. For example, this is a head pin. I want to connect this to another piece of jewelry which carries this head pin. So, I'm sorry, this eye pin. Now, I'm going to open this up in this way and I'm going to take my silver eye pin, connect it to the golden one and then I'm going to close my work in this way. You see, this helped me in connecting my pieces together. So, I can add in a normal pearl bead to this side. And of course, to the other side really, really easily. Like that won't make a problem for me. So, now head pins and eye pins, both of them come in many different sizes. So this one that I'm using is a 1.5 inch one. So I have added my pearl bead right here. I'm going to bend this in this way because the end of the wire is too long. I'm going to take my cutters and I'm going to just trim it right down here just to make it a teeny tiny bit smaller. Okay. Now I'm going to take my pliers, hold it in this way to the very end of the wire and I'm going to turn my wire towards me. And there you have it. You have a beautiful close up to the pin. Now to work with the other side, I'm going to take another piece of pearl. I'm going to add it right there and then I'm going to repeat the same thing by just turning the pin for me this is the easiest way of doing it cutting the extra piece and then taking my pliers holding the pin onto the very end and then turning it towards me in this way see now this helps in just holding pieces together or connecting I'll show you an example right now if you have seen this video of mine or maybe I mustn't have uploaded this one yet you see this is the eye pin that we have used here okay let me zoom in just a little bit yeah so this is the eye pin I have an eye towards this side and because this is helping me in connecting to the jump ring this is the second eye so eye pins are always used when you are connecting a piece of jewelry Let's talk about head pins. Head pins are always used when we are just ending a piece of jewelry. For example, here I have a beautiful golden head pin. I'm going to add in a silver bead just to show you. You see, this is the end of my piece. So, okay. Yeah. So, this I have added just to close down my work. And I'm going to just bend this, cut a piece of extra wire, use my pliers and repeat the same thing. This is just for demonstration purpose guys. 
and there you have you have a beautiful latkan bead that you can hang anywhere so now i hope that it is clear for you all that what is the use of a head pin and an eye pin another tip that i can give you guys is that if you have a long piece of wire just don't throw it away okay use it as an eye pin because you hold the other side one side of your pin and then you with the help of your pliers you pull it inside in this way with that waist piece of wire we made an eye pin you can add a number of beads or something and then this can be used as a smaller eye pin so just don't waste any wire okay you can always make eye pins out of them and of course we can't make head pins because we don't have the machine to punch or just push down and make a ha head but we can always make an eye with our pliers so i hope that uh, the video was helpful guys I, if you have any questions leave a comment down below and i'll see you next time bye